All right, hello and welcome to another edition of Jam Along with YouTube. We got a request to learn Ripple on the banjo. And as usual, when people ask me <clears throat> to learn non-banjo songs on banjo, I like to clarify real quick that the trick is to learn the chords. That way you can fit into any jam. And whether you're strumming or rolling, regardless, you'll fit into the jam. Later on, you can learn the melody. And of course, this being a dead song, you can noodle around on G scales till the cows come home. Um, but we're going to start by listening to the YouTube together and trying to figure out the chords. Let's go. Guitar lead. There's a catchy melody. But don't be seduced by that. We're learning the chords. This is the melody part. We'll get that later. So first of all, you want to hear that it's in the key of G. That determines a lot of what we're going to play. Namely, if we're in the key of G, we need to know G, C, and D, most likely. Here we go again. If my words G. With the gold C. We stay on C. And my were placed Still C. On the Back to G. Would you hear my voice? You can hear that's a G. Here comes the, the C again. Would you hold G D as a C back to G. Let's try that again. I can even play a roll. C stay on C. Perhaps back to G. Square roll. C. Here we go G to D. G, D, C, G. Probably a chorus here. Listen up. Yeah. A minor. The D. When there is no G, C. A major to D. Back to the first part. C. Stay on C. If your cup is full, may it be again. G. Beautiful. So, G, C, D, and a little bit of A minor and A in the second part. Let's pause the video and go over those chords. That was not me. So first of all, remember, the whole point of these Jam Along with YouTube videos is to get used to the idea of learning in the saddle. When you go to a jam session, especially a Grateful Dead jam session, you might not find someone who's going to sit you down and show you the chords. So the best you can do is find the key and then try to hear the chords as they go along and then sort of try to figure out how long to stay on each chord. Um, in this particular case, we start in G for four measures, or four beats if you will. So it's G, one, two, three, four, and then it goes to C for ten counts. That's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then G for six counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to C for four. One, two, three, four. And then we're just going to go G, D, C, G. I think it's like two counts each. G, two, D, and C, back to G, two, three, four. And we're going to play this again along with the video, so don't freak out. Um, and remember, these lessons, I don't write stuff down. This is from my ear to yours. So when we do the jam along with YouTube, it's about learning in the saddle. If you want to be spoiled and have it written down, go to jamalong.org and we'll make a custom lesson for you. But this is about learning by ear. So then the bridge comes along, that chorus. We're going to an A minor. For the banjo newbies out there, you make a C, and then you move your middle finger over to the G string. There's a C chord. We're moving it over to the G string. That's all you're going to do, and you avoid hitting that D. Just hit the bottom three strings. OK? A full A minor looks like this. Now, eh, whatever. Uh, it pays the same. I would say make a C chord and jump that middle finger over for the A minor. 
So that chorus starts with four A minors, one, two, three, four, and then four Ds, one, two, three, four, and then two Gs, one, two, two Cs, one, two, and then straight bar across the second fret for the A major, one, two, and then over to D for two, one, two. Now at this point, if you want to cheat, you can pause this video or go back and hear how many times we play the chords and write it down. But it's better just to go along with me as we play along with the YouTube video as we're about to do. Let's rewind, go to the top of the video, and play the chords and that amount that we just discussed. G. C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. G for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. C for four. One, two, three, four. G for two. One, two. D for two. One, two. C for two. One, two. G for four. One, two. Four. Here we go again. G. I'm switching to a spur roll to keep things interesting. case YouTube you find the key and you try to find out how long each chord lasts and you start that way if you're playing the banjo then you can always go to a cute roll and get that contented chicken noise but uh, once again rewind that play along as much times as you need to get it and then go to the actual video and play it without me yelling at you and that's when you're really learning by ear this has been another episode of jam along with YouTube and of course if you want to get spoiled and get an actual custom lesson on it go to jamalong.org and we'll hook you up Keep on picking, and remember, you can pick your banjo, but you can't pick your friend's nose. Take care.